Hi, I'm Alana. I'm 23 um, and I currently live in Canberra. My most prominent early physical symptom was like oh, a really, really tight chest. I would have conversations with my friends and we'd be talking about, I don't know, doing something or like a situation that happened and I would be getting quite uncomfortable and anxious Talk, even talking about something and everyone else kind of was just really casual about it. <laughs> even the simplest thing like going into a job interview would like cripple me with anxiety. It wasn't really until my quite late teenage years, like 17, 18, that I realized that, you know, having a tight chest every time I was thinking about something that made me a little bit nervous wasn't completely normal. <laughs> I always kind of had something to focus my, that negative energy on, like whether it be work or uni, um, school or something. And I just kind of let it be. I finished my master's program, so I didn't really have anything to focus my anxious energy and my negative energy into anymore. And things started to pile up and just quite a few little things, I guess, snowballed into what I now refer to as a bit of a breakdown. <laughs> that was basically the moment where I realized I'm not gonna be able to stick it out. I actually went to just my GP and just blurted all of this stuff out to him and um, I, I let him know that I had suspicions that I was like that I had some form of general anxiety. Um, so he gave me one of those mental health um, tests, surveys, and sure enough I was quite severely um, anxious. I didn't have any uh, personal issues that were um, contributing to the anxiety really it was just like I was born with these things <laughs> like it wasn't something that just popped up because of some trauma that I've had I definitely think that the physical symptoms were something that I wanted to manage most I really enjoy uh, meditation <laughs> um, and doing that for like even 10-15 minutes in the morning or even before I go to sleep it really helps I actually have found that um, speaking openly about it with my friends and family has significantly helped. And I do feel better when I do a little bit of exercise. I've been doing Pilates uh, a couple of times a week, <laughs> which is um, high intensity, but it feels good to be around other people that are exercising and it makes you want to exercise more. <laughs> and it releases endorphins, so it makes me uh, feel better about myself. <laughs> the one piece of advice I would offer to anyone with anxiety, specifically young women, is uh, don't pressure yourself into keeping those feelings inside of you. It only makes it worse. <laughs> For women, it's that societal pressure that you should always be loving and uh, comforting and supportive to other people but it's almost like you can't ask for help back. The most important thing is finding someone that you feel comfortable talking about your anxiety with. If it's someone else that is suffering from the same symptoms, if it is a family member, a trusted adult or a sibling, that helps a lot. <laughs>